Super. So hi, I'm Dan from Mr. Speakers, and this is a prototype of the new electrostatic headphone. Right now we're just calling it Ether ES. Um, it's a super lightweight design based on our Ether headphone assembly with a nickel titanium headband for really durable, very light and comfortable uh, wear. And then uh, you know, it's still right now in the prototype phase using our conventional pads and stuff. But we're using a, a very large electrostatic driver. It'll be compatible with the SAS 580 volts so you'll be able to use the high-end gear and uh, electrostatic gear from companies like Wu Audio or or the Blue Hawaii. So all of these are going to be the headphone will work with any amplifier that supports the high-end stack sections like the uh, stack sound. Um, right now we're only saying that this is a technology demonstration. The actual product now so yet. I'm hoping we'll be able to say something more about the actual availability and pricing of the product this year. But our goal on these is to be able to make something that's actually an affordable headphone yet a high-end sound. And so we don't want the price to be $3,000, for example. That's going to be less than that, as much as we can make. Um, so that hopefully we can bring uh, electric sounds to a broader audience and additional users. And uh, this has actually influenced your making of the Ether Flow line. As well. That's correct, yes. Uh, one of the things that we noticed when we were designing the electrostats is that it sounded more resolving than just the difference in the mass of the diaphragm we thought it was fine. And I think conventional wisdom, or, you know, I don't know everyone knows, but I think it's generally believed that the lighter diaphragm of the electrostat is the primary reason that it has an advantage in speed. And that once we started thinking about it, we realized that perhaps there's another factor as well, which is that if you look at the stator of an electrostat, it's a flat surface perforated by a very large number of holes. That's a very good acoustic load. It doesn't present any discontinuities, right angles, etc. in the air. It compresses between the driver and the stator, swages out through the holes, and then creates a big kind of flat wave. On the other hand, with a planar magnetic headphone, the driver has to move the air through bar magnets, and in our case, magnets that are also in trays. So there are multiple instances where the air is being compressed around right angles. And um, that causes potential eddies and, and non linearities in the airflow to our bands, and uh, basically sucks out some of the resolution of the signal. So we figured out how to basically smooth the airflow through the planar magnetic driver so that it feels like an electrostatic state. All right. That's called true flow That's really cool. All right. Thank you so much, Dan. Sure thing. Thank you. All right. This is Mr. Speakers. Wait, wait.